Like the pyramids of the Egyptians, the ancient British also believed that stone was a solid material, creating a sense of permanence that should be associated with the eternal world of the dead. So if Stonehenge marks the kingdom of the dead, where is the kingdom of the living? Less than two miles north of Stonehenge, Mike Parker Pearson, an English archaeologist discovered a circular structure similar to Stonehenge, but with traces of wooden posts. This place is called Durrington Walls. When excavating the site, they found at least eight floors with a size of four by four meters, and around there were holes for posts, so it could have looked like this. Besides, in the middle of the houses, the archaeological team also found piles of pig and other large livestock bones. Some bones were not even separated, meaning they were thrown away when they still had soft tissues connecting them, so they concluded that these were traces of people partying. Finally, the archaeological team discovered a 30-foot wide avenue running straight from Durrington Walls to the Avon River, similar to Stonehenge Avenue, adding to the previous discovery that these two sites are aligned with each other on the sunrise and sunset lines on the two winter solstice and summer solstice days. Mike Parker Pearson concluded that on these two days, they held festivals at Durrington, then the crowd would move along the river, moving between the kingdom of the living and the dead. Some people would drop ashes of the dead into the sacred water, and royal burial ceremonies would be held at Stonehenge.